Hey guys, it's Sarah Pike here with Collaborations with Sarah, and today we're collaborating with Amber Wright. Hi! She's another Keller Williams agent in my office. We're actually on the same team, Anderson and Associates. Yay! She's going to help us talk about value today. Yes, very important, so stay tuned. Yes. Okay, so today I just want to go over how to add value in a home, how to maintain value in your home for resale and just in general so you're not paying an arm and a leg down for it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so I think the number one thing for that is just regular maintenance. Absolutely. And yeah. when we're talking about regular maintenance, we're talking about getting your HVAC service every six months at least, right? Before mm -hmm. it gets too hot and before it gets too cold, you want to get that service. Um, all the way to something as easy as like cleaning out the gutters and just yes. little things to keep your house clean and overall maintenance is huge. Okay, so, and when we say regular maintenance and these items that we're talking about, it's really because, you know, say, let's take the gutters. I think that was a great example. Yeah. If you skip cleaning your gut gutters for a year or six months or eight months, all of that tree debris is going to accumulate in the gutters. The gutters are going to get heavy. They're going to get loose. Water's gonna overflow onto the property. If you don't have the correct drainage off the house, mm -hmm. water's gonna come into the house. You're gonna have a huge, maybe you're gonna have a crawl space issue, right? Maybe the water's gonna leak in your basement, all because you didn't clean the leaves out of the gutters. Everything right. has a breaking point. Um, and it kind of takes a toll yeah. on things. And it's gonna else. cost you a lot less money down the road if you just do these maintenance items, you know, monthly or, or weekly or however yeah. um, they're needed. Um, let's see, some bigger ticket items that really go a long way if you're planning on selling the house, I would say is, you know, replacing flooring that's, that's huge, that's a little bit old and run down. Um, carpets, I would say if they're anything more than what, eight, ten years old, oh, yeah. you, you need to replace If you've carpets. ever ripped up carpets before, you'll understand what we mean. Yeah. Um, <laughs> everything settles underneath the carpet, so, you know. Yeah. It's almost like it instantly gets a facelift when you replace the floors. Absolutely. And you know what? Laminate flooring right now with the hardwood look, it's really nice. it does look really nice. And it's not that expensive, you know, in the grand scheme of things. Right. Um, new paint. Mm. That's a yes. great facelift. Gray. Yeah. Everybody's yes. loving the gray right Gray is now. everything. <laughs> everything. So that's great. Let's see. Anything to... Um, in your front door. Everyone's doing that yes, pop, of the pop of color. Yes, I love that. Great curb appeal. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else do we have? This is more regular maintenance items. I have a couple of notes that I'm cheating on. Of course. Um, termite protection. Yes, that's huge. That's a really big one. Yeah. Just you know, with a lot of resales, they're going to ask for a clear termite letter, mm -hmm. like we always do. So right. I feel like to have a termite bond and have that coverage on the home is huge. Mm -hmm. And the difference between a termite letter and doing a full termite bond. Um, a termite bond is you're going to have repair and retreat on the property. Mm -hmm. So you can actually, you know, if they do find termites, that's going to cover the replacement of any wood, siding, whatever, as well in that termite bond. A termite letter is just saying, hey, there are no termites on the property. So right, right now, <laughs> that's that's the difference. We don't need to get to the nitty gritty of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> We can, we can ramble when it comes to real estate. Oh yeah, so for days. So we're gonna go down. <laughs> um, and then I think the last thing we can just end on is landscaping. Yes, curb appeal is mm -hmm. huge. Like you said, you know, pop a color on the door. Um, when you drive up to a house, if it's a well manicured lawn, mm -hmm. you know, trim no hedges. Yeah. yeah, and it doesn't, you don't have to go all out and add waterfalls and you know, all <laughs> these crazy yeah. extravagant items. Just simple landscaping, lawn maintenance. Goes a long way. If you think about it this way, I mean, just to sum everything up, if you had two homes that were the exact same floor plan, same square footage, built the same year, one of them was well maintained and taken care of for the last five years, and one of them wasn't, you're obviously going to pay more money for the one that's more taken care of. Yeah. Um, so why not start now making these small steps towards maintaining your home? So the day you are ready to sell, um, you know, there's not going to be much out of pocket. Yeah. Absolutely. I think that's like groundbreaking rule number one. Maintain your home. Well. We're collaborating. What are we like? What does that mean? Like we're just going to discuss. Like, yeah. like pretend like we're like experts on what we're talking about. We are experts. Which is why you should subscribe today. <laughs>
Hi subscribers, it's Sarah Pike here with Slut... Yeah. 